afternoon everyone, welcome back to another Train Sim World free live stream. Now yesterday I very sadly had to install quite a few, or uninstall quite a few British routes because as well on Tuesday we've got the Bremen to Oldenburg route coming out. So pretty much there's now just a massive red wall on the route selection of just German routes. So I've installed pretty much all of the German routes back. And probably once Bremen Oldenburg does come out, I'll probably have to uninstall another British route, which might have to be Great Western Express. It might have to go, uh, and then Bremen Oldenburg can come in. A substitution, because uh, of the bloody PS5 limit, which still hasn't been sorted. Uh, we've got Luke, Nicola, NG, Joseph, how are you all doing? Hopefully you're all well. I always mean to unpause it, but I never unpause it. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, we're doing snow on the Rasilg Nord, which is one of the mo most scenic routes in the game. And in the snow, probably even more. So, awesome. Hello, Jonathan and Yoshi. Let's get the uh, train set up. Oh, we yeah, need to... Uh, that would be a good idea. Oh, huh, it's already on. All right. We don't get the person saying, ah, FB, ah, FB. Oh, there we, we do. This is the old 185. Um, so, yeah, and also we'll set that to... Uh, uh, I wouldn't really say we're heavy for it, we're empty, so let's go M. Afternoon Mark. Uh, PZB and C4, we'll get them on. Headlights already on. Make sure they're released. And we should be all good. Hello, Radio, how are you? Yeah, uh, Hagen in 42 kilometres, so that's about, what, 30 miles? Let's go. Don't know, Pivers. Probably not for a little while yet. I'd say probably another two, three years. I think it's majority of people are probably still on last gen. So it was Jonathan. Yeah, let's get a bit of sand down. It's gonna be a right struggle to get going in this. And if we will slip and go over forty, that's gonna trip the PZB. So it's probably a very difficult start. I mean, power is being applied. Right, nice and steady. Bit of sand as well. Get the wipers on. I was thinking about going in the 155, but then I was like, we'll do that on Tuesday anyway. Oh, <laughs> fair enough, NG. And we're off. You've got a uh, regional express coming in there. It'll be once the majority of players are on next gen, which is still going to be a long way off, especially with the PS5 issues. You know, a struggle, struggling to get PS5 still. Hello, Joseph, how are you? Then I suppose to make it eat, well, I suppose, like, you know, it, uh, like the Brighton Main Line, the last gen players don't have all of the services. So it's as though if they did another big route, just cut out services for last gen. A bit like on Bremen Oldenburg, quite a few of the services are cut for... Uh, the AI services are cut for uh, last gen. I suppose I'll just continue doing that for now. Get up again, there we go. Good here, Joseph. I'm all good. And our top speed today is 120 kilometres an hour. No more than that. I just hope at some point they uh, rebrand TSW as just Train Sim World. Yeah, we've got Train Sim World 2020, Train Sim World 2, Train Sim World 3. Just all together, Train Sim World. What well, are the chances we'll see a Class 700 for Train Sim World 3? Probably very high. I mean, that would be one of those, you know, like cash injections. Yeah, everyone wants a 700. Alright, Pivers. Let's 
sooner. Maybe next year, I don't know, who knows. Obviously, if they cut the last-gen consoles, they're going to lose quite a lot of money. And obviously, that's not really good for business. See if that... Alright, coast along for now. Next station along is Plettenberg, I think. There is n there's an update on the road coming, apparently. Uh, so maybe I'll dig it out the grave and maybe we'll have a little look when it does come out. And then we'll bury it again straight after. As it will probably still be broken and just boring. Uh, well, that's Tommy. You can see here we're leaning. And well, the train doesn't lean in, the track leans. Yeah, I think it's our first time on Rusty Ignored since Train Sim World 3 released because of the PS5 limit. Hello Amanda, how are you? Which means we can't play a lot of routes. Well, we could, but it means uninstalling stuff, then installing stuff, and just juggling it around. Then we miss that other route, and it takes a while. Especially with the newer routes, which are obviously bigger in size. You can't NG. Down to 70. There you go. <laughs> See that? And there we go, down to 70 in time. I think get 38 seconds. No, I think it's a bit less than that, 33, 34. Hello, Ron, how are you, mate? Welcome in. Do I like the Birmingham Cross City route? I do. I think it's probably the most detailed British route to date. And it's a new operating company, which is always exciting. There's a 70. Yeah, we'll be streaming after this. Uh, probably two streams today. So I've still got the football on at 6. Um, I think it's 6, the football's on. And your OMSI of the Eclipse. When we're next done, OMSI, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what we'll be doing after this just yet. I was thinking flying, but then I've got to go and do something at about three, so we wouldn't have time for that. Sometimes that can drag on a bit. No, seven. Is it seven? I thought it was six. Oh, it is at seven. Now, oh, the little leaflet there. It's a six on here. Little Brock Taylor one. Uh, let's have a look. Oh. What day is it today? A four. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Seafair, whatever. Um, oh, it does say seven on there. Where did I get six from then? I don't know. Right, I missed the speedboard, haven't I? There. Hundred. Let's get that out. Imagine a class three fifty and three ninety was on the cross city route. Um, I mean, it'll be cool. You wouldn't be able to drive the 390, you would be able to drive the 350, I think, for one stop. Maybe, yeah, uh, NG. <laughs> ah, who knows, who knows with us. What are you getting? What, Santa's get what is Santa getting you for Christmas, Pivers? I know you're a firm believer, so let's put that down. Oh, let's see if it, yep. Let's see, I've got mixed up with the eight. Because if you click the, the button next to the um, 
No, we're in big trouble here. The um, the button next to the sea for one is is to get out of the sea. No, I knew that would happen. I missed it there. I was looking at a bloody keyboard. Screw you, PZB. <laughs> you win. You win today. See if it yet, and see if it tries going off as well. That one always seems to catch us out there. Come on, come to a stop. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Look, it's nice and easy on these. Just do that, and there we go. Then you can get going again. Have I played Gary's mod? Hello. I'll wait for the brakes to come off as well now. A little bit irritating, but it happens. So I'll wait for that to come off. There we go. And we should be able to get moving again. A little bit of power. Let's see if we get a little bit of wheel slip. A little bit more. But they're quite nice set they're quite a nice place where we have stopped though. You've got the river there, you've got the little tunnel. It was worth it. If we can get going again. Whoa, what is, what is going on underneath here? Whoa. That's a weird uh, spawn place for the AI. Wouldn't you think they go straight the way through? Okay. Off we go again. For the AT. Oh, put that down a bit. And we go. Uh, three, Thomas. Yeah, I mean, 20 more three is. The, well, it's the new thing. So I'm going to prefer that. Just like saying, you, do you prefer Train Sim World 2020 or Train Sim World 3? You, you're going to say Train Sim World 3. Why would you say Train Sim World 2020? Hello, Carl. So we could have kept it on the uh, PZB mode heavy, heavy freight. I think it's you, isn't it? Oh, well, we're off now. Again. See if that... Come on train, enough full slipping. Oh nice Thomas. You played Gary's mod, it was a good game, nice. I'm never gonna forgive you for driving this route. What's wrong with this route, Oscar? <laughs> How you doing Oscar? It's a very scenic route. And we come round into uh, Plettenberg, which I think is round here. And I can't remember the station too well after this one, Plettenberg. No, I think it's Wardell. Wordle, something like that. Please let England win. Oh, I can't let him win. Good to see I'm alright. Hello Daniel, how are you? <laughs> I can't put it any more simple, fair enough. Even in the snow. Round we go though. After in transport, we're on the PlayStation 5. As we come round. Through uh, Plettenberg. But yes, just two more days until we get the Bremen to Oldenburg. Which is fantastic. Content's coming thick and fast. And then 110. Let's uh, get that up. Our top speed is 120.
Especially in the snow, nothing but blue and thin white light. <laughs> oh, you love it, Oscar. In the description below. What's in the description below? Two steering wheel trains in the new route looks amazing. It does, yeah. Yeah, the 155 and the... Uh, the 10110. Uh, 110.3. Proper old school. And it's quite a wintry route as well, isn't it? Sort of North Germany. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an ideal route around Christmas. Set it in the snow. Lovely. Fair enough, Daniel. What roast have you got today, uh, Daniel? Chicken, lamb, turkey. I reckon it's or pork, pork. I reckon it's pork today. I would get a flyby shot, but on a German route, you never know what's coming up. Could be a warning board, then PZB will have a hissy fit. So, we'll stay in. <laughs> Fair enough, um, NG. Hopefully. Uh, I think the cab car has well, just a little lever. Well, apparently you can overload it and break the circuit breaker, so we're going to do that quite a few times. Lovely, Daniel. Yeah, it is nice seeing the roots in the snow. As I sort of strictly leave the snow for this time of year. And I'm pretty certain the speed comes down soon. So I'm going to start putting some breakage on. It's in the snow. So it's much harder to uh, slow down. Uh, yeah, we're only doing, we only did one train. This is about an hour's run, so. Into the tunnel. Still slowly bringing that down. I think there's a warning thing on the signal, I think. As we come up to Widow. Uh, I don't know for sure, but we had beef last week, so it could be a good call of it pork, or being pork or chicken. Well, so we'll find out the results later on. Yeah, Harlem's good. Harlem's good. Well, that's uninstalled it yesterday. So, obviously, get all these German routes in. Yeah, there it is there. What's the speed? 80, I think. Good, NG, good. Right, I'll coast it. Or does it come down to 70 on the other side of the station? Or is that Al Altina? I think that's the other one, isn't it? Altina. It could be 70 coming up round here. Oh, lovely, Josh. That's another one up to un uninstill. <laughs> the baker, though. Yeah, it might come down even further. I think that's quite a tight corner. On the other side of this station. Or it might be the next station along. Oh, no, I can see... A, is that a warning board? I can see some sort of upside-down triangle. So I would imagine it is a warning board. Uh, might have trains new US route. Uh, a new US route? I don't know. I'm sure at some point there'll be one. Um, yeah, not too sure.
After in Davidoff, you're eating turkey and trimming sandwiches from Tesco. Lovely. Look at you in the Christmassy mood. Here's the pantograph up. Well, we're getting. Well, we're, we're moving, so I'd imagine so. Yeah, there's Wardell. Yeah, I think the next one along is Altina. Altina, then it's Letmarth, or Henlinburg, and then Hagen, I think. Something like that. See if that. You've got the Xmas tree in your room. Lovely. Could be a freight or. Hopefully, it's not a freight route. <laughs> Let's just put let's put the lid on the American freight routes for now. They can they can stay in their own corner. More American passenger routes. Yeah, that's good. There's one at Southeastern Life. Um, when it is, I don't know. I just load on to TSW each day, and I'm like, what can I be bothered to play today? And today it was Rift Silver Nord. So I don't know what we'll do when we next do Southeastern. So we've got Bremen Oldenburg coming up on Tuesday, so I don't know. In your air fryer last time. Fair enough. Probably not that bit off. Have you got a shot of the pantograph? That's a, there you go, there's the pantograph. Massive power station over there. Get up a little. Yeah, there's the power station over there. And I think we back turn around and sit and go through a tunnel. Yeah, it sure does, Oscar. Yeah, it sure does. You're at Paddington, awesome, uh, Josh. Let's coast that. It's quite a slow route. Well, slow-ish. But then it's, um, well, you can sort of understand why it's quite slow. It's not like Cane Creek where it's a straight line and it's 20 miles an hour. Hello Nick, how are you mate? Hopefully, uh, um, should. I mean, yeah, ideally we should win. You hope this roadmap Thursday could be announcement updates, old routes get volumetric skies. I wish, but probably not. Yeah, Brighton Main Line, that would need it. Uh, East Coastway, that would need it. <laughs> Well, definitely the rush hour routes. Cane Creek is more enjoyable than the boring London commuter. <laughs> you love your Cane Creek, don't you, Pippers? Love Cane Creek. You think England will, but just so I reckon it'll be very close, yeah. Oh bloody hell, you had a migraine attack last night. Looking forward to my work's Christmas party. Look, bloody hell. Well, yeah, enjoy it, I suppose. Not good to hear about that, though. Wow, Daniel. <laughs> yeah, Firefighter Simulator is coming, yep, yeah, on Tuesday. Which we should be showing off on Tuesday. No idea what I'll be doing. The spray water at the fire, and we're all good. Well, I think it's a multiplayer game, isn't it? 
So yeah, I'm gonna have to work that out. Another regional express. See that? Yeah, I love doing a freight run on this route. I prefer doing freight on this route than passenger. It's a bit more chilled out. About to run in the M3L in Harlem, so we're going to disappear for a while. No worries, Oscar. Oh, I've seen Nick. That's something I, I haven't had in a long, long, long time. I don't think I've actually ever had a migraine. I've had like a you know, tiny, tiny headache, but never a migraine, which is weird. But yeah, just don't get them. At the moment. All the cars up there. Uh, it should be David off. Obviously, we'll be prioritising Bremen Oldenburg as well. That's TSW. But yeah, we'll certainly be looking at the F1 as well. Probably do. Well, we're streaming for Dovetail at 10.30 on Tuesday. Obviously, on our channel, but they've sort of scheduled it. Um, so we'll do that, and then probably after that, we'll do the firefighting one. And then. After that, and do the TSW again on Bremen Oldenburg. Since so school will be finished, so we can we'll do it then. Oh wow! Ooh, not good to hear, uh, Nick. Doesn't sound pleasant. What what causes it is it just random? This is our center. Yeah. I thought everyone got migraines and headaches. That's one of those things, isn't it? Don't know. Is the E60 coming to train some classic? It is, yes. So I'm sure you're very happy about that. <laughs> Alright, Pivers, what about Horseshoe Curve or Cane Creek? What one are you going for? I don't like our SMU 200s. Yeah. Uh, paint smell does cause it. Most of them are random. Uh. Hello, Laserjet. How are you? So the next one along is Let Them Off. See that? You've not got that other one. Horseshoe's impressive, especially when you go around the horseshoe. Sort of way up high, and you can see the back of the train all the way down low. So we just go right around it. Right, let's hope there's not a warning board around the corner. I bet there will be a bloody warning board around there. But I'm going to get in just in case. There we go. Yeah, Horseshoe Curve is probably still my favourite US freight route. Cajon Pass is good. Um, proper fast, you know, proper heavy freight, BNSF as well. That's very good. Very, quite a struggle as well. Oh, I see, um, Nick. Hmm. Oh, not good. Awesome laser jet. Yeah, Horseshoe's, I would say, probably my favourite US freight route. Even though we haven't played it in a while. But it's just about the PS5 limit. Um, 
yeah, at least would, would would have to be Cane Creek. It's just the fact that the, the only interesting part of the route is the first third of it from Potash to Moab. After that, it's just really, really boring. But I suppose that's my opinion. If you like it, you like it. So fair enough. That's had it after adding the E60. Yeah, I think Jamie is showing it off at some point. I think that was on the Rail Fan TV schedule, actually. Can't remember which day. I think Wednesday. That's usually the train sim stream, isn't it? Yeah, I'm sure it will uh, get better over time, Nick. Is there medication you can take to sort of sort that as well? I'm sure you probably already do, but. Chilling out, Joseph. Can Pass is your personal favourite, mainly because it has relatively fast speeds and the locos on it are amazing. The locos are amazing on there. What is it? The ES44 C4, isn't it? And then the one on horseshoes, the ES44AC. That's alright, Thomas. Yeah, just chill out. Don't need to chat. Just chill out and enjoy the journey. Oh, C60. Motor alternating. Sounds fancy. Now we've got a 100 limit. <clears throat> Let's uh, get that up. It sure is, yeah. Transport fever in uh, con uh, console February. Yeah. Hopefully, I uh, get that and we can have a look at that. We played it on PC. I think actually, Nick, didn't you uh, get it for us on the PC? Yeah, it was awesome. I remember, we spent like six hours on it <laughs> in a row, which was. Um, that was awesome. I think we've done three or four streams on there. Would there be a cut? Uh, Probably not on my channel, no, uh, Joseph. Coming up to Letmarth. Now, I think it's the ES44AC on Horseshoe Curve. It's slightly different. And Sherman Hill's the SD70ACE. Uh, there is, but it doesn't work for me. I used to take anti sickness tablet. That did, uh, didn't stop being sick, but didn't. Uh, stop anything else. Yeah. Uh, I probably dev it off. Oh, am I looking forward to Tuesday? Uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah. Well, mostly for the TSW route. And how much is the firefighting game going to be? No clue. Alright, uh, so what's the, what's the price on PC? And it'll probably be fairly similar. It'll probably be about ten, a 10 or more on console. It is twenty one pounds on uh on there. So it'd probably be yeah, a little bit more on, on console. So I expect probably around sort of thirty pounds or so. A bit like please sim, so that's a little bit more on console. Twenty four ninety nine on Xbox. All right. Oh, so not much more then. Yeah, so not a lot then, Davidoff. The only problem you have with Horseshoe Curve is the ES four for AC sounds. They're not very good then, or so I don't know the loco in real life, so I can't really comment on that. This is uh, Let Him Off. That's probably not how you say it, but. Where we go. The station always under construction. Maybe, yeah, Nick, maybe. That'd be cool. See, so, yeah, I think it is more based for multiplayer, isn't it? So. We'll definitely have to do multiplayer on it. Wait for good old Glenn to get it. <laughs> Can we do police and patrol officers this afternoon? Probably not David off, mate. Hey, 
How did you get those sand Christmas decorations and Santa? Magic. I went on this magic site called Google Images. And that comes up with all the bits. Which are unlicensed as well. I'll point that out. Sounds good, Nick. So around here is Hohenlinburg. Which I suppose is probably a suburb or just a town sort of merged with Letmarth. It does, yeah. <laughs> and the brakes on there are a bit funny as well. And the safety systems. Hello, Senseless. I'm alright. How are you? Oh, he does, Pivers. I thought you were a firm believer. But now we all know he does. Then around in is Hohenlinburg. Up to a hundred as well. Not too bad, it's good then, senseless. Let's go that up. Lovely. So we'll be ending at Hogan. I think we're going into the yard there. Oh, I see Nick. Xbox Live cross gen multiplayer. I don't know, he's 60. Probably archive, maybe. Or probably preservation, maybe. If there's a preserved E60, I'm sure they would have got it from there. Or whenever it was in service, I suppose. Maybe they got the sounds then, or from the community. And when did it go out of service? If it was only sort of 15, 20 years ago, I'm sure there's probably plenty of sounds for it. Which they probably picked up. That's alright, uh, Census, you're off school tomorrow, lovely. And it goes up to 120 uh, around here. There you go, there's the 120. Let's get that up. So the fastest bit of our journey. And then the slowest bit of our journey. After this, coming into Hagen. No, there's probably a fair few sounds on E60. Yeah, definitely a fair few still uh, available. Where did the E60s run? And what was the one which uh, got replaced by the ACS 64? E70s? I don't know. What well, those other ones? Which look quite cool. A lovely census. How did they go? I did enjoy exams though. I had the time go quick. Yeah, it's one empty, empty load of coal wagons. I think these are. That snow flick up looked good. See that? Yeah, I don't know what we're streaming after this. Not really too sure yet. Oh, not great. Nah, I'm sure they went alright. You don't think you did well? I used to think that, and then I did well. So. Sure, you do all right. Hey, Daniel, thanks for gifting a uh, a BA membership. Much appreciated, Daniel. There we go. Joseph's got it. <laughs> Much appreciated, Daniel. Farm sim. That's a good, good, a good shout. Yeah, it's a good shout on that Saint Kaya map. It's not a bad idea, actually. 
Especially on a Sunday as well, nice and chilled out. I'll say E60. And our unreliable HHP8. Yeah, thanks, Daniel. Uh, Joseph's back. I think that's the 4th or 5th time, isn't it, Joseph? Good on you. Yeah, surely it can't be long. Well, it's probably still. Let's have a look. When will the next member's stream be? Well, it won't be next weekend. So, probably on the 17th. Which probably will be a Bremen Oldenburg points challenge, I'd imagine. Which will be fun. So I'm surprised you haven't got it yet, Amanda, either. <laughs> or maybe mods can't get memberships gifted, maybe. Don't know. Yeah, it does look good, Pivers. I think it's only about 16 quid as well. Or maybe over Christmas, uh, Christmas if it's on sale, I'll pick it up then. Like last year, or the year before that, when I got uh, Erlen Grat. Oh, that was last year, I think. That wasn't, no. Yeah, we pick it up then. Amtrak are turning the HHP into cab cars. Oh. No, I didn't get the season pass. Was that on sale recently then? I think I just got the standard edition of the game when it came out. There's a 363 in there, a little uh, Diddy old shunter, which you will be able to see on Bremen Oldenburg, although not from this route. You'll be able to see it from Navica Dresden, so the Deutsche Bundesbahn one. Hello SNCF, how are you? Well, maybe you'll be able to see that one anyway, if you own, own it. We've got all the DLC for the game. Was it like 20 quid more though, isn't it? 20 quid more for the C Deluxe Edition. I can't remember. And we got a uh, green over yellow. And this is a very slow part of the route. Going all the way into the uh, depot. Or into the yard. Alright, Bibbers. The deluxe session is 50 quid on Xbox. See if that. Just gonna stay at 40. And nothing can really can go wrong. How do you turn on that AFB? There's a switch just above the phone. And you've got to be in neutral to set it. Yeah, a bit of a silk nord. It's been a while. But we're on it. You might as well, Oscar. Might as well. I mean, it doesn't cost anything. It's free. So, well, obviously you've got to have something which can record something. But you might as well give it a go. If you've got PS5 or PS4, you've got the inbuilt capture. So, well, I think for Xbox you have to stream to Twitch, which isn't as good. You really want YouTube. Have I played much Bus Sim 21? I've played a fair bit of Bus Sim 21. It gets boring very quickly, but I've played. Yeah, I've played it. Look at that 
snaking across. And I don't think there's any points to sit here at Hagen, so we're, we're all good. But yeah, we're just coasting at this speed. We, we probably could speed up a little bit, but there's not really much point. The graphics aren't uh, the best on Xbox, but it's not as good compared to OMSI. Yeah, OMSI and the bus are the, are the sort of realistic... Well, the bus being the most realistic, I'd say. Graphically and... Well, but certainly graphically. The only reason Omsi's good is because there's British buses on there. Not really interested in other stuff on there. Cool. How fast is the line? This bit's quite slow. I mean, the signal's all green over yellows. I could speed up a little bit, but then it'll probably bring me straight down again, so I'll just at 40. Across we go. Especially in the snow as well, I don't want to speed up and then not be able to stop. I'm also getting a new wagon type on the uh, Bremen Oldenburger. I can't remember exactly what the new uh, wagon is, but there's a new one coming. That should be nice to see. Hello Jack Ward, how are you? Hello Munchies, how are you? Oh, lovely Daniel, enjoy, enjoy. Let's speed up a little bit. I'm pretty sure it is 70 along here, but I can't see any yellows in sight, so let's get a tiny bit of speed. Whoa, wheel slip is it's really not having it. Just a little bit of power though. Sefer, yeah, Sefer, there we go. Good to hear munchies, good to hear. Yeah, we're not going to be at much speed for much longer. As it will bring us down again very soon. Good to hear munchies. What's the weather like over there in Florida at the moment, munchies? Clear skies, 100 degrees. Right, we'll sit here. Yeah. Right, coming into the uh, yard now, it's just up and over this bridge. <laughs> oh, fair enough, NG. That'd be even worse. If you got the exact uh, speed limit on the point, but it says driving over the speed limit. At times, yeah. Lovely, Joseph. Fair enough. How's like that for a nice roast? So as the track maybe used to join up there, but not anymore. 
Nice clear blue sky, that's fair enough. Oh, it's there. God. Another green over yellow. See if it, yeah, yeah, don't panic. There you go, we've got the uh, unreleased that. That was a senseless. <laughs> Fair enough, Nick. Smart, smart idea. Good thinking. Deep it, yeah. It's yeah, quite possibly, Daniel. There's a one four three over there. That could be a one one two. They look very similar. I think it is a one four three. I think the headlights are slightly different on the one one two. And the one four three comes with this route. There is a one four three. See if yeah, there we go. I think we stop on the other side. Slowly creep our way forward. And down again. Oh, not that much. Go over there, another 185. Yeah, 185 there. Hey, Neil, how are you, mate? Uh, a couple of 185s there. And yeah, today's video is slightly later, just to stick to an embargo. On your zombie cure labs. Which is uh, a little funny game. <laughs> Fair enough, uh, munchies. I mean, it'd be very cheap. Have a look on CD keys. I think Train Simulator is about two pound. I mean, you probably could even buy the version with uh, Mami West Palm Beach for not a lot. Hey, lovely, uh, Joseph. Awesome. Good to hear, uh, Neil. That's our signal just there. Oh, will that count? Probably not. Come on, don't come right to a stop just yet. A little bit further. Is it going to count? Hey, it did count. That's surprising. There we go. Well, that is going to be everyone uh, for today's Trentim World Livestream. Hopefully everyone has enjoyed it. I'll be back fairly soon with something else. Apart from that, links can be found in the usual places, Discord, PayPal, Merch Store, and I hope we'll see you next time. See you all. Take care. Bye, guys.